need no introduction, but I'm going to say their name anyway because I just enjoy it. I say it sometimes when I'm alone. I say their names. Wow. Joe Cipriano. <laughs> Mark Elliott. <laughs> Bo Weaver. <laughs> and Scott Rummel. <laughs> so, these guys are great sports. Chuck and I wrote a trailer. And we thought it would be fun to see these incredibly talented range for days gentlemen do this trailer and, and play with it and have fun and do it. So we don't know what they're going to do with it, but... And neither we're do we. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're in the moment. So we're going to see what happens with our VO Buzz Weekly trailer. Should we stand up, guys? Take it away, boys. <laughs> it's going to be a rotating Taylor. Here we go. From Edge Studio and the people who brought you VO Buzz Weekly. In a world with confusing direction, where nothing is as it seems. One relatable hero will come face to face with a Neumann that will change everything. But the only thing that stands between hope and despair is his preamp. From award-winning directors Andrea Romano and Ginny McSwain. Comes an unexpected story about persistence, rejection, love contradiction and triumph of the human spirit the, the voice actor <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. ted ted time coming this summer to a booth near you <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys thank you stace and chuck Thank you very much, Doug. Oh You're God. very good sports. You know, I, I, if, for those people out there who don't know, they dominate the promo and trailer world. So to have them all on one stage sharing like this, this is really cool. I, Thank I, you. I, I got to make a warning to everybody. This is going to be uh, not a very funny panel. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, because we, we are not ad-libbers at all. Right. I mean, the last time I tried to ad lib, I was setting a level for, for some, uh, but, someone over the ISDN thing. Right. And, and the line that I used to, uh, to set the level uh, kind of dated me as someone who, who pro I had probably a bigger career in trailers and uh, promos in the, in the 80s and 90s. So my ad lib line was, uh, you know, uh, 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 let's see, starts Friday. Check newspapers for time and local <laughs> listings. <laughs> And uh, the the 20-something uh, 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 booth guy, you know, running the board on the other end of the session said, what's a newspaper? You know, so Dude. I dated well, myself. Well, but you guys, you have incredible longevity. And that doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't happen because you're all very handsome. Doesn't happen. Do you have a behavior or an action that you could really pinpoint that has contributed to your long-term, long-range, ongoing well, for me, it's always ask uh, the oldest guy. Dress to match the set is well, number one. <laughs> yes. Always go with purple. Uh, I think that the, the the constant and the thing that you can always rely on is that everything changes all the time. So you have to be a student of of the art, and uh, you know we're we're dealing in marketing, and marketing styles change all the time. So uh, really, you know, staying up on that. And for me, what, you know, I always try to stretch beyond, you know, I do promos and that's my center, but I also like to do live announcing and, and game shows and uh, radio imaging. And I always try to find other genres where I can continue to push forward because, you know, the more you diversify um, when you lose something and, and we've all lost things and uh, it doesn't hurt to as To you, yeah. we've so, lost things. Try to do <laughs> Officially awkward, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, what do you think, Scott? Um, you know, I have a little sign in front of my, uh, in in front of me when I'm reading, and it says the best job in the world with a microphone. And I just have to always remember this is the best job in the world, and and I'm lucky enough to do it. So I think attitude is everything. Um, I don't have. Uh, time to be a diva or be annoying to the directors. I try to give everybody what they're hoping for. And uh, even if they want to give me a line reading, I'm happy to have them do that because I, I, they're paying me a lot of money. Don't encourage them. Man. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I didn't say I loved it. Uh, but, uh, 
But the other thing is to, to, to talk about what Joe said is to be a lifetime learner. Uh, every year on my New Year's resolutions, uh, I put that I want to be a better voice actor. And I, I think no matter how many jobs you've done, you always can get better and you can always do better. Beautiful. So, thank you, Scott. Thank you, buddy. What do you think, Mark? Well, I think, I think that these guys had uh, some very good points to make. I think when it comes to longevity, I think my favorite quote concerning longevity was a guy that uh, was over, well over 100 years old, and he was asked the secret to his longevity, and he said, when you start to die, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I don't know why yeah. I didn't think of so, that, Mark. And, and, well, and, and you know something? That applies to all of us in every phase of our life, yeah. particularly yeah. those of us. When we're dying, you know, don't, don't go there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Stop dying that's and do it, do it the way they want to hear it. Uh, but it, but it's, it is very interesting. It's a wonderful, challenging, challenging business. And Joe is right. It changes on, uh, uh, like the, with the speed of light technologically and in terms of the sound that is being sought. So it does require doing some homework yeah. and uh, watching TV and listening to commercials, finding out, you know, absolutely. promos, trailers, Love finding it. out what's, what's going on out there. Yeah, absolutely. What do you think, Bo? Bo? Well, I, th I, I think that the, the work uh, that Mark just described of being familiar with uh, the landscape of uh, motion picture and television marketing is really important to know who the audience is and in particular what the point of view the attitude of that particular show is. There's an ethos, there's a vibe, and if you don't know what the show is, you're probably not going to be able to, to adopt the, the correct okay. tone to connect with, with that audience. And uh, the, the other thing th th that I would say is, 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 is going to sound a little, uh, a little f uh, philosophical because uh, it really, at, at a certain point, it doesn't have to do with, with the technique. Um, it, because that's in you, after you've done this and you've been in the flow of it for, for a really long time. It's really about a way of being. And uh, it's really not trying, it's, it's connecting with a confidence inside. Mm -hmm. And it's just allowing that to come through the words. And if you know the words and have confidence in the, in the words that are written, that they are enough, that you do not have to embellish them or, or hit them or milk them or, you know, stomp all over them, all you have to do is be that guy. Uh, you know, it, it, you know it, it completely transforms your experience of, of doing this work and it makes it uniquely yours. That's Thank beautiful. you, Bo. Well, you gentlemen are certainly more than enough. We love you so much. Let's hear it for Joe Cibriano, Mark Elliott, Bo Weaver, and Scott Rumble.